Stockholm Brain Institute was founded around 10 years ago. The idea was to create these uh, so-called Brazili centers that um, are, are aimed to, to take the, the basic and, and uh, applied uh, research going on in the, the universities and help them turn into results that can deliver something for society. What we try to do is take the results going on in the basic labs here in the clinical labs and create the environment where the scientists can take the results and turn it into something tangible for society. To take these results into real treatments for diseases, real diagnostics for diseases and new technologies so we can really treat diseases. So it's, it's the environment that we're creating that's unique. There is a need for improved treatments for Parkinson's disease because the current treatment, and especially the golden standard levodopa, quite rapidly um, give side effects. Our new approach is to develop an oral treatment which is uh, as effective as levodopa but doesn't have the same kind of side effect profile. So one of the problems with brain disorders and neurodegenerative disorders is that the brain is a very closed in organs. So the only methods are either by using neuroimaging, PET imaging for instance, or by uh, analyzing blood plasma or, or cerebral spinal fluid. So uh, our effort is to identify, first identify novel targets. So we are using the Human Protein Atlas and uh, about uh, 45,000 uh, different antibodies to study protein changes within, within uh, brain samples or plasma or CSF samples. And then of course we have the industry partners necessary to really work on those targets and help us to develop pet traces or develop um, tools that we can, that can be used in, within the clinic. We're collaborating with the Stockholm Brain Institute together with the Karolinska Institute and Hospital in order to look at how we're going to take neuro, basic neuroscience in, in, with respect to gene expression data and translate that through to protein expression and then furthermore into the development of pet biomarkers. We've worked with the Karolinska Institute over the years and what we've seen is these are world leading innovators in their field. They're great to work with, they're very focused on, on the ultimate clinical application and are perfect collaborators for a company such as GE Healthcare. The development of biomarkers for imaging the serotonin system and the dopaminergic system in Parkinson's disease and more recently we have been also uh, engaged in a, a project aiming at imaging alpha-synuclein in Parkinson's disease in vivo. The initial work that we did on the serotonin system was supported by Stockholm Brain Institute and recently we, we have received a grant from Stockholm Brain Institute in collaboration with AstraZeneca. We will uh, try to develop a radioligand for imaging alpha-synuclein in vivo. And this is a very important project because so far this has not been possible and it's uh, of course this kind of project requires the interaction between academia and industry. Yeah, together with this instrumentation company Medeso from Hungary, we are developing and validating a novel state-of-the-art and a high-resolution, high-sensitivity scanner for non-human primates. I think without Stockholm Brain Institute, we would not have been able to work on this novel high-resolution camera. Fluorine 18 is uh, one of the most important isotopes used in uh, PET scanning. And of course, it's very important to efficiently introduce uh, fluorine to organic uh, uh, molecules. This is a very challenging uh, task for uh, uh, organic chemists and also one have to uh, consider the short half time of uh, fluorine 18. Our methodology is uh, directed to use uh, catalysis, mainly metal catalysis, and new type of uh, uh, fluorinating reagents. The greatest discoveries in, of the brain came over the last 20 years. We really didn't understand anything. So what, what we're learning now and in the next 15, 20 years, we'll, we'll probably double or triple our understanding of the brain. We really know so little and the, the diseases of the brain are really not well tackled. And I think that uh, it's really the cutting edge research that's going to, to make some real changes. Mm -hmm.